Okay, so welcome to this demo. We're just going to go over very quickly today uh, connecting Robot Framework to Source Labs with uh, a Selenium test that we've created. Now, Source Labs allows you to test your Robot Framework tests over various browser and OS combinations, which can be very handy. So, uh, let's get into it. Here's a quick breakdown of what we're going to do today. The links will be uh, down below uh, in the description so that you can just skip ahead as you see fit. Right, let's uh, do this. Now we've just created a simple project with our three uh, directories which are resources, results and tests and we've created a demo.robot file which is this file here. Um, we also have a uh, source connect uh, folder there, um, but I'll explain later uh, what that's all about. So very simply, we've got our sections, settings, variables, test cases, and our keywords. Now, we're going to create a simple test. User can open the people page. It opens a, a browser at this URL, it waits until the page contains people, then it clicks on the link people, the next page loads and it waits until meet the makers appears on the page. Now each test has a setup which is begin test and a teardown which is end test and those are uh, defined keywords that we have declared down here, begin and end test. Okay, so I'm just going to comment out this line here, the test teardown, so that we can actually see the test run without the browser being closed. I'm just going to add my command to run the tests. And I'm going to hit enter so that the command or test runs as it should. You can see there that it is doing its thing. And looking at the Chrome browser that's been opened, we can see that the test has passed and that the people page has been opened. And the readout on the command line there is pass. So everything is working as it should. Now we've added a bash file in the root directory under the project. This first bit of code here connects to a secure tunnel um, to allow you to access your sites uh, that are under authentication. We've got our Source Labs key, which comes uh, from our Source Labs account. The next part of the code is the desired capabilities, uh, which came from the Source Labs configurator. I'll show you how to do that in future tutorials. Next step is to run those tests on Source Labs. We're going to right click and run that bash file. We can see here that the command has been executed and the script is running. It's connecting to Source Labs at the moment. It's opening a secure tunnel so that we can test our staging site uh, on Source Labs. So we've got a connection open there now and the first test has run on Windows 10 plus IE 11 and the next one on Windows 10 and Chrome is just running. So over on Source Labs we can see that. Now we've just got a pass for the second test and the t third test there on Firefox 35 and Mac OS is running. And that's doing its thing. The other two tests there have passed. And the tunnel closes on the finishing of those tests. We can see there in Source Labs that they've all passed. And clicking on the first test, we can click the, pay, uh, the play button there and watch the test uh, progress. So opening the browser lands on the home page and then clicks the people button. So we can see that that test ran successfully. So there you go, a very quick demo of connecting to Source Labs with Robot Framework. 
um, I'll have more tutorials coming with step-by-step -step instructions um, on how to do this and connecting to Apply Tools, which is a third-party uh, layout comparison tool. So until then, all the best and we'll see you soon. Hey, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found this really valuable and super easy to follow. Uh, if so, a like would be really appreciated and any other feedback welcome too. I've got more tutorials coming really soon, so do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.